What is WorldCoin? Is it going to be a huge success or a complete flop? I'm challenging myself to give you these answers in just five minutes. I'm Shay, and I've been researching crypto for three years. Today, we're breaking down WorldCoin, the good, the bad, and whether you should care. This isn't financial advice, just straight facts. By the end of this video, you'll know if WorldCoin is the future of digital identity or just a privacy nightmare with really good marketing. So what exactly is WorldCoin? Think of it as a digital passport for everyone on Earth. You scan your iris with this sci-fi looking orb, get a world ID that proves you're a real human, and then they give you cryptocurrency tokens as a reward. The big idea, in an age where AI bots are everywhere, we need a way to prove, hey, I'm actually human. WorldCoin wants to be that solution and they're willing to pay you to join. Here's how massive this has gotten. Over 16 and a half million people have scanned their eyes, the World app has 35 and a half million downloads, and there are 1,698 of these orbs active across 20 plus countries. But here's the kicker. This project was co-founded by Sam Altman. Yes, the OpenAI CEO who brought you ChatGPT. So this isn't some random crypto experiment. This is backed by Silicon Valley heavyweights with over 250 million in funding. Okay, let's walk through how it actually works. WorldCoin has three main pieces, the orb that scans you, world ID that proves you're human, and WLD tokens that are basically a reward for participating. The process is weirdly simple. You find an orb, they're usually set up in malls or public spaces, open the world app, scan your iris, and shazam, you're verified. The whole thing takes seconds. Now here's where it gets interesting. WorldCoin says they'll delete your actual iris image and only keep a unique code. Think of it like a fingerprint, but for your eye. This code goes on the blockchain anonymously. Once you're verified, you can use your world ID to log into websites and prove you're human without revealing who you are. It's like having a universal I'm not a bot card. But here's what's really happening. WorldCoin isn't just giving away free money. They're building a massive database of iris codes, which brings us to a crucial question. What are these tokens actually for? Let's shift gears and check out the tokenomics and utility. The WLD token has some pretty wild economics that most people don't understand. First, the numbers. There are 10 billion WLD tokens total. That's the hard cap, but here's the kicker. Only about 2 billion are actually circulating right now. That's just about 20% of the total supply. So where are the other 8 billion tokens? Here's the breakdown that'll blow your mind. 75% of all tokens go to the community. That's 7.5 billion tokens. Only 25% go to the team and investors combined. Compare that to most crypto projects where founders and VCs keep 50 to 80% for themselves. WorldCoin is giving away three quarters of their tokens. That's either incredibly generous or there's a catch. These tokens don't just appear overnight. New users currently get about 40 WLD over their first year, but it's spread out monthly to prevent dumping. And here's the important part. Early adopters get more. If you join later, you get fewer tokens. Now for utility. What can you actually do with WLD tokens? Right now, honestly, not that much. You can trade them, you can hold them, you can use them for governance voting, possibly by the end of the year, 2025. The team promises future utility like paying fees in apps, staking for rewards, or even funding a universal basic income someday, but those are promises, not reality. Here's the critical question. Could WorldCoin work without a token? And it absolutely could. The identity system doesn't need WLD to function. The token is mainly there to incentivize signups and fund the project. And about those token unlocks, this is crucial for investors. Team and investor tokens were locked for a year, but starting in 2024, they began unlocking daily over three to five years. That's potentially massive selling pressure hitting the market continuously. So the tokenomics are generous to users, but create a supply overhang that could suppress price for years. Keep that in mind if you're thinking about investing. But remember, only invest what you can afford to lose. And this definitely isn't financial advice. Now, None of this matters if the risks are deal breakers. Let's lay them out plainly. First up, privacy. You're literally giving a company your biometric data. Even if they promise to delete the images, that unique code they keep, that's tied to your identity forever. You can't exactly change your eyeballs like you change a password. But the bigger issue, governments are not happy. Spain banned them from collecting biometric data. France, Germany, and the UK are all investigating. There's also the digital colonialism criticism. Early on, WorldCoin 
and targeted poorer communities with cash incentives. MIT found cases where people didn't fully understand what they were signing up for. And let's be real, those token unlocks we just discussed, they could crater the price as insiders sell billions of tokens over the next few years. All right, fair is fair. Let's also look at why some people are bullish. The problem WorldCoin is trying to solve is real. AI bots are getting scary good at pretending to be human. We need better ways to verify real people online, especially for voting, social media, or preventing fraud. And their execution is solid. They did say they'd launch in 2023, and they did. They promised 1,500 orbs. They delivered. Their plan was 7,500 orbs by the end of 2025. They're gearing up and building a factory in Texas to make them. The partnerships are real too. They're piloting with Tinder to verify real humans on dating apps. They're working with Visa on crypto debit card. These aren't just announcements, they're actual integration. And speaking of institutional backing, there's been some major news recently. In September, 2025, a public company called 8Co Holdings raised $250 million specifically to buy and hold WLD tokens as their primary treasury asset. Think MicroStrategy, but for WorldCoin instead of Bitcoin. The company even changed its ticker symbol to Orbs and brought on Wall Street analyst Dan Ives as chairman. Their bet that WorldCoin becomes the standard for human verification in the AI age. Now, this could be huge for WLD's price. When a public company puts a quarter billion dollars behind a token, it creates real buying pressure and signals serious institutional confidence. But here's the flip side. It also means WLD's success is now tied to corporate treasury decisions. If AECO decides to sell, that's a lot of tokens hitting the market. It's validation that smart money sees potential here, but it also shows how speculative of this space still is. A company betting its entire treasury on eyeball scanning crypto that's either visionary or completely insane. And honestly, in crypto, these often look to be the same. But if it catches on, the network effects could be massive. Once enough people have world IDs, every new user makes the system more valuable. And with 75% of tokens going to users, it could become one of the most widely distributed cryptocurrencies ever. So after weighing both sides, here's my straight take. WorldCoin gets a C plus from me. They're tackling a real problem with solid execution, but the trust issues are huge. Utility usage needs to be much more than governance, and the regulatory risks are high and could kill the project. The tokenomics tell an interesting story. On one hand, giving 75% to users is unprecedented generosity. On the other hand, the token isn't really needed for the core product, and those unlock schedules could suppress prices for years. For investors, this is pure speculation. You're betting that proof of personhood becomes massive and that the WLD token captures that value. And both are big ifs. Because of this, I expect WorldCoin to bob back and forth between a dollar and four bucks over the next few years. This could easily change if something big happens, like way more utility or substantial adoption by major players on the AI front. I don't own any, but if I did, I'd treat it like a lottery ticket. And I'd really watch those token unlocks closely. For users thinking about getting scanned, understand that you're trading your biometric data for some crypto tokens that may or may not hold value. There's no right answer, but make an informed choice. So that's WorldCoin. Ambitious, controversial, and impossible to ignore. It could revolutionize digital identity or become a cautionary tale about privacy and corporate overreach. The tokenomics alone make it fascinating. A project giving away three quarters of its tokens while trying to build the world's largest identity network. Whether that's genius or madness remains to be seen. What do you think? Would you scan your eyes or sell your biometrics for crypto? Are those tokenomics appealing or concerning? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. If you're interested in a crypto on-ramp, I've personally used Caleb and Brown. They're an Australian-based exchange, but they have offices in the United States as well. Use my affiliate link below to get started. I may earn a commission, which helps the channel at no extra cost to you. Availability varies by region. If this breakdown was helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more simple and easy to understand crypto reviews. I cut through the hype to give you the real objective story. Remember, this isn't financial advice. Do your own research, stay skeptical, and never invest more than you can afford to lose. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week here at Deciphering Crypto. Take care.